I S U P K. You understand? There's a lot of things out here in this country that have been going on for centuries and centuries, man. And the death and destruction of black and Hispanics have been going on out here. Now, a lot of people like to say, well, blacks are on drugs and they kill each other. Well, let me tell you this. Every race has some problems. You understand? But we are the only race of people that get murdered and slaughtered by other races. And this white man has been killing us for years and years and years. The, non-stop. They've been killing us for years and years and years. And let me remind you, don't forget about, don't forget about George Floyd. Don't forget about Mike Brown. Don't forget about Tamir Rice. Don't forget about Oscar Grant. Don't forget about Amir Locke. Don't forget about Breonna Taylor. Don't forget about them. They were murdered and slaughtered at the hands of the oppressor. At the hands of the people that run this country, man. You understand? I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. This is facts that you can Google. They've been murdering us and killing us, man. Look at that. Look at Armand Arbery out in Georgia. They hunted that black man down because he was jogging. And shot him and killed him on camera. And guess what? They're not going to call it a hate crime. They're not going to call it a hate crime. They're murdering blacks and Hispanics out here like it's nothing. When you're a black and Hispanic child goes outside, you better make sure you tell them to be safe out here because there's monsters out here. Real life monsters and they look like Donald Trump. They act like Donald Trump. You understand? They look like Joe Biden. And act like Joe Biden. You understand? You know why? Because the white man, woman, and child is the devil and they know it. You understand? They're the biggest deceivers and murderers on the face of the earth. And they know it and accept it and they like it and love it. You understand? They run Times Square. But guess what, black and Hispanic man? You built Times Square. Right. You understand? They're building up your back, of your blood, of your sweat, and now we beg on the streets. Now we live on the streets. Now we have to be here and sit at the feet of this white man as they crush and demolish us every single day, man. And they don't want to talk about it. You know why? Because they have no compassion. They have absolutely not an inch of compassion in their heart. And it's sad how to destroy our blacks and Hispanics out here in America. And all you got to do is turn on the news. Turn on the news, man. All you got to do is turn on the news and you'll see the destruction that's caused at black folks, man. You, you'll see it. You'll see. This is not that we're making up. This is not poetry. Thank you, brother. This is not uh, uh, fiction. This is real. You understand that they're murdering us and killing us. How? With drugs. Now they got to, now, I, I just learned a few days ago, now they got a place where you can take your heroin to see if your heroin is pure enough. And you can use it there. And then they give you a nice place where you can go and sit in a room and use your pure heroin. Back in the day, we called that a crack house. That's what we called that back in the day. Now they call it a clinic. You understand? Now it's a clinic. You know why? Because they're just trying to slow stroke you to death, man. But guess what? America has to pay for it. America has to pay for all of the blood. You understand? For all of the bones and everything they walk on, America has to pay for it. That's why World War III is coming. World War III is coming. You understand? You see what's going on in Ukraine and Russia? You better enjoy Times Square now because it's about to be smoke and dust. Real soon. And America deserves it. They deserve it for the murder of my grandfather. For the imprisonment of the Mexican brothers trying to come over here to have a living. Don't forget about the Hispanic brothers at the border. Locked up. Because they want to come and sell oranges and roses. But they have to be locked up and wrapped up in aluminum foil. In a goddamn cage. America has to pay for that. America must be destroyed for that. You understand? They have to be destroyed. And you should love it. Don't you love justice? Don't you love when a murderer gets arrested, or a rapist gets arrested, or a kidnapper gets arrested? Well, that's what America is. That's what they're full of. Murderers, rapists, kidnappers. Am I lying? All you got to do is look it up. Guess what? It's in the history books, and they teach it to your children. And they murdered. And you know 
what you do? You celebrate their murder. You go carve a turkey and eat goddamn cranberry sauce and say happy Thanksgiving. Because of the murder, you're gonna pop firecrackers and let, let off little missiles and things for the 4th of July. Why? Because the white man celebrates his murder. And you celebrated with him. So somebody gotta pay for it now. You understand? Somebody gotta pay for it. Give me Revelations uh, 11 and 14. Somebody gotta pay for it. And I love justice. Don't you love justice, man? I love the Most High God's court system. I trust it. Because it's righteous and right. Now, America has to pay for the destruction, man. And guess what? Russia and China, they're going to make sure America pays. You see what's going on in Ukraine? You better turn up the portals off and all of that and pay attention to what's going on out here in the world. You better pay attention because America's about to go to war. And the World War III is about to start. You understand? You better, you better celebrate this Valentine's Day like it's your last, cause it just might be. Right. You understand? It just might be your last Valentine's Day. You may get all the hearts and candies and kisses that you can get, because Russia ain't coming to give you no goddamn chocolates. That's right. They coming to give you death and destruction, man. That's right. They coming to give you death and destruction for what you've done to black and Hispanic people, for what you've done to the Native Americans. For stealing their land, sticking them on some goddamn reservations, and then running pipes through their land. Little Becky and Susie and Katie, they're about to die. According to Russia, you understand? According to Russia, because you know why? White people love white on white crime. They try to say black on black crime. White on white crime is very popular, and Russia's about to show you. Russia is about to show you. And guess what? It's all in the Bible, black man. Whoa. Read. Revelations, chapter 11, verse 14. Uh -huh. The second woe is past. What does woe mean? Woe is death and destruction. The second woe has passed. What does that mean? World War II is over. That was full of death and destruction. Some more white on white crime. You understand? Some more white on white crime. That's past. Right? Now what's next? Keep going. And behold. Say again. And behold, uh -huh. the third woe cometh quickly. Say it again. And behold, uh -huh. the third woe. The third what? The third woe. The third what? The third woe. Death and destruction. Say it again. The third woe right. cometh quickly. The third woe cometh quickly. What does that mean? A third death and destruction is coming. Some more white on white crime is coming to America, man. It ain't gonna be overseas. It ain't gonna be in Japan. It ain't gonna be in Germany. It's gonna be right here in America. That's what they gonna do. And you gonna realize, black man, woman, and child, the safest place to be is that neighborhood you're trying to get out of. That's, you better stay there. You better stay there and make that place right. Because everywhere else, where these white folks step their feet at, you're going to die according to Russia and according to the Bible. The third woe is coming. You understand? And you can't stop it. You cannot stop it. You better pay attention to Russia and Ukraine. You better enjoy, enjoy your bags now. Enjoy your shopping now. Because according to the news and the Bible, death and destruction is coming to America. ISUPK 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.